Vanderbilt at Missouri. Missouri, a 21.5 point favorite. 52.5 is the total on this one. And I had a whole diatribe last week about how good Vanderbilt was playing. They looked so fantastic. Oh, they were going down to Atlanta to play against Georgia State, and they just 80 plus percent post game win expectancy in that game, and they lost the game. So, what do you even do with Vanderbilt now? I'll tell you this I'm not going to get off of the Jerry Kill, Tim Beck, Diego Pavia bandwagon. Every now and then, those kind of players are going to lose those kind of games. It is what it is. Would it shock me to see Missouri struggle with a pretty decent Vanderbilt team at home? No. Uh, Missouri does have a bye week next week. Then they play at Texas A&M the week after that. Vanderbilt, on the other side, plays at Missouri, and then they have a bye week next week, and then they host Alabama on October 5th. My stats model is right on the number, 21 and a half, right there in the middle. Power rating plus stats, Missouri by 17. I will, here, here is what Missouri has done best. They are running the ball best. Does Missouri open up the offense more with Kirby Moore now? Or do they wait it out until they have to go to Texas A&M here in a couple of weeks? That's the question. Do they think that they can handle Vanderbilt by still sticking with a very vanilla game plan on offense? They're only number 49 in PPA per pass. They're passing the ball 50% of the time. They're running the ball 50, or 50% of the time. They're really good running the ball, number 20 in rushing success rate. They're not super explosive. Uh, all the numbers are great on offense, and the numbers are great on defense. But again, Current strength of schedule, number 89. That's only come up because they played Boston College last week. These numbers were built on the backs of whipping tomato cans. Vanderbilt, on the other side, beat Virginia Tech to open up the season. Uh, got a win in week two after that. Uh, then they go to Georgia State last week and lose. There was some shenanigans going on. Neither team very explosive. Turnover margin. Uh, Vandy does not turn the ball over. They're number one in giveaways per game, but they're number 41 in takeaways per game. Missouri, number 50 in giveaways per game and number 41 in takeaways per game. So number 17 turnover margin for Vandy, number 41 turnover margin for uh, Missouri. Penalties per game, both uh, are not great. Both really good in offensive red zone conversion percentage, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to take Vandy. I like the Commodores. Plus the 21 and a half. Um, I cannot believe that stats model was right on that 21 and a half. I mean, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, I like Vanderbilt. Jerry Kill as a dog, like, it, hook me up, man. Hook me up. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.